John the Mouse. I know you want more details of what happened. So let's go back to the end of May when I was getting signed up to LiveCoin and Coinbase. Coinbase took multiple days to get everything right with them. Now it's June. Going to get things rolling. Time to purchase some Bitcoin and get this show going. I decided I better move Steam Dollars from Steemit to test out the market first. So I copy and paste and push send. So I wait and wait for these 10 Steam Dollar coins to show up. It was already late. So the next day I'm back trying to figure out where did these coins go. After retracing my steps, I find out I copied the Steam Wallet address. Now them coins are gone. Now I think I'm ready to transfer Bitcoin at the exchange. No coins. One hour. No coins. Now I start to worry. Why did I send the whole amount? I retrace my steps, refresh the web page. Finally, one confirmation. I decide I'm not going to wait for the next one. I will just pick it back up the next day where I left off. The next day it was there waiting for me. I tried sending over 15 steam from Steemit and it worked great. I sell and I think I got it now. Time to buy something. Uh, just to, just off the top of your head, uh, pick a couple of dark horses that people haven't heard much about that you would like in terms of a cryptocurrency that's, hmm, this may be, this is interesting, this may be something that you may like. I know there's hundreds out there. People have to be careful about buying, right. you know, a, a crypto that turns to, you know, crap. Okay, so so there's, a, speaking of dark horses, if you wanted to bet long term, as opposed to something that's going to give you a really good quick pop, then I would go for Monero or Cloak. Okay, both of these coins offer um, strategic use value that is different from other coins. Both of these coins, though, you have to understand, are used by uh, people that don't want their uh, activities to be tracked, some of whom may be criminal. So some of these coins may be used by criminals. Cloak, oh, that's a good idea. I think I'll try one out to use their wallet. After playing around with that for a few days, I've decided to get a couple more. Cliff's High Report. After looking at the report, I got a few thousand coins of XEM. Bought some more cloak coins. Bought some more cloak coins. The price was going up. I piled in more cloak coin. I'm glad I did not go over 0 0.005 per coin. The next day I was picking up some more coins at a discount. This day I could have unloaded at the high and been okay, but I got a few more coins. I picked up Funfair coins. I realized my coins have lost 50%. I started looking over the past videos of the gang and came up with that they were pumping the coins up. Let me show you the cloak coin pump in action. And the closer you get to it, the more details start clustering around in that set. And then finally it dawns on you, oh no, uh, you know, it's not a hubcap I'm looking at in the data sets, it's a turtle shell. <laughs> but until you get to that point, you can't tell. So, but I do have a Dash, I have Monero, and then there's a real high burst of emotional intensity around Cloak. Okay, but... Oh, that... what's Cloak? Is it kind of like Monero, where it's like it's privacy-centric? Yeah, exactly. Uh, but here's the thing on that. you got to be careful about that, because we had that same kind of thing about the doggy coin and about Litecoin, and they both have uh, fizzled out. Oh, yeah. you got to yeah. get a big emotional burst. Let's look at the chart and see how high they pumped it. Not convinced they have more. So uh, 
for instance, one company I know, curiously, uh, doing business in Antarctica, wants to be able to send value down there that can be exchanged from there. And one of the options they're considering is cryptocurrencies as opposed to moving, uh, you know, digital dollars or this kind of a deal. Uh, I won't go into why uh, my, my uh, contact with them was fleeting, so I don't have all of the um, particulars anyway. But uh, so I would go with Cloak and Monero. Other good uh, ones. Spell Cloak, C L O K E. C L O A K, like Cloak Room, or, or, you know, or like a cloaked Klingon ship, that kind okay. of thing. Uh, let's take a look at that uh, chart and see how high they pumped it this time. If you're not convinced, they still have more, and Daddy Pumper is going to bring out the big guns. As you can see, it's not a very big article, but let's take a look and see what this does to the charts. As you can see, more people that get the report, the more they buy into the coin. I know they aren't going to stop. They all have coins. It's going to show up first. So you can see I've got 230 cloak coins. Speaking of which, have a look at this. As the old crocodile hunters used to say, have a look at this. Speaking of co cloak coin. This was in Cliff High's original data, right? Look at these prices. A penny. A penny. Now this is back in the day, 2014. Let's travel up to early 2017. 18 cents, 19 cents, 18 cents, 16 cents. That sucker at 9.93, 10. It was actually over ten dollars. It was 10.30. 10.30. Now, right now, it's back down to 4.86. Talk about a massive gain again. Another thing, but uh, that's another story. And by the way, I'm gonna. Tr I'm trying to line up a little interview with one of the guys from Cloak. And they all get the reports early, so they can plan ahead. And I know you can't buy it yet because it hasn't been put up on the site. I think today or tomorrow it will go up, uh, but I got a copy. As you can see, they are getting ready to pump this coin up. Cloak Coin is getting ready to open its last part of the code up to the world. Daddy Pumper is working it. I can see Daddy Pumper bring it out the big guns, and this time, write a little bit more about it. So now what are you going to do with this info? I think more than chance. Everyone will buy it up to a high and the pumper group will sell. I think the worst thing about this is that a lot of people in this coin has already been victims of a pump and dump early in its coin life. But they are the perfect prey for this group. Just remember, you can lose money and coins in every move you make. Do not rush in. Learn from your mistakes. Always use a small test coin when trying a new wallet. Please be careful of pumpers that are online. Any crypto can go to zero. Remember, it is just a speculation that wants to be a new digital fiat money. And yes, I have bought into the high, thinking it would go a bit higher. I have also lost coins transferring them to different wallets on exchanges. As you can see, I'm no expert, just learning as I go. More research is needed. I am giving you my full disclosure. I am not a financial advisor. I am not getting paid from Cloakcoin. I do have a Cloakcoin wallet. If you'd like to spread some coinage my way, I would always cherish your generosity. Thank you for watching my video. I do have more for you to view, just press on the button, and if you'd like to subscribe to stay up to date, you can push that button too.